And right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. Let's get it going guys. We may be going daily. I don't know. Maybe back to three videos a week, but as of now, potentially six days. We'll see guys. If you bear with me, if we have self-developed army going strong out here, delivering value, bringing souls to heaven guys. And speaking about that, if you were listening to this on audio, cause I'm now posting these all on the self-developed podcast for audio in case you guys, YouTube want to watch this lightning bolt. Guess what we replaced it with or are it's coming in in about a week it is you know what I want to show you guys so if you guys listen to this on audio you got to come on over to YouTube visual because they get that visual aspect all right yes let's see if you guys can see this here it's coming in June 16th at recording this is June 7th look at the phone oh yes you see that we got that blue cross it says Jesus saves guys and it's a blue neon sign that's a lightning bolt don't ask me why it's a lightning bolt. That's all they had. And uh, there were no crosses. So I actually had to order this from the US Amazon, not the Canadian one. Anyways, though, that's not why you clicked. Oh, but you know what? Maybe it is why you clicked. Because in this video, guys, we're speaking about God and why all men need God. Why one of the most masculine virtues for all men to have is faith in God, something greater than himself. And in today's video, until we get that cross, I can explain why. So guys, Christianity, huh? Or you know what? Better yet, God. Now let's go down memory lane, okay? I'm going to give you guys self-developed take on higher power, universe, God, and eventually coming into Christianity, the evolution, and maybe where you may find yourself, and hopefully this can help. Now, rewind around five to six, maybe even seven years ago at around 19 years old. I'm 25 now. At around 18, 19, when I began this entrepreneurship journey, it's actually when I began YouTube right around this time, what, seven, eight years ago now, right when high school finished the first day it was done. I started that YouTube channel. Um, I got into uh, higher power, right? I guess you could say new age spirituality, the universe, higher consciousness, but essentially realizing, and I think all men know this deep down, and I'm going to explain why I believe all men are spiritual and religious by nature. But at around 18 years old, I got into just that, right? Reading books like A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle or The Power of Now, uh, a lot of kind of new age spiritual YouTubers. And it really helped, man. It really helped. I know sometimes now in the Christian community, it seems like we have a beef with new age or like we kind of throw them under the bus. And guys, I'll be the first one to say it. New age has a lot of truth to it. It has a lot of good to it. And I believe it's because it's ultimately pointing back to Christ, but it's kind of just like a modern day version of it. So what were the benefits of this and maybe you guys can find yourself here well believing in something greater than yourself bigger than yourself and by the way if my eyes look tired on youtube my sleep was horrible last night we'll speak why you need faith in a second uh so believing in something greater than yourself bigger than yourself knowing you are guided guys you know i remember getting into numerology at the time which is kind of frowned upon in the christian world which actually this is kind of a side tangent but i think is one of I actually believe numerology is somewhat biblical. Now, there's not a ton of actual biblical references where Jesus is like, I will send you angel numbers, etc., etc. But out of everything New Age, guys, one thing that still does help me a little bit is numbers. And I believe that's a sign from God. Like, it's helped me in quite a few times. Maybe I'll make separate videos because some Christians will probably disagree. The rest of New Age, yeah, I'm not for, right? Astrology, tarot cards, you know, Ouija boards, all that stuff. No, 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 we don't. <laughs> Burning Sage, none of that. But numerology kind of still has a place in my heart. But anyways, so I got into that at around age 18, right? And that really, guys, I'll, I'll be the first one to say it, that was a huge driving force. Now, I do believe it was coming to Christianity in due time. But even before seeing that, it helped me get to where I'm at now. Even before coming into Christ, right? That'll be a cross soon. Jesus saves. Uh, even before getting into that you know, new age spirituality or following the universe at the time was and is a huge reason I'm here now. It allowed me to keep going. It allowed me to endure. It allowed me to just have that sense of faith bigger than myself. Because guys, if you know, and this is again, a side tangent, my brain, if you guys are new here, my brain thinks all over the place, we kind of speak in circles, but it all comes back to the bigger picture. Guys, I truly do believe if you are a man who is an entrepreneur, if you're doing something bigger than yourself, especially entrepreneurship, something unknown, you cannot tell me. I truly, I truly believe all entrepreneurs are spiritual or religious by nature. How can you create something out of nothing and not believe in something bigger than yourself? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Entrepreneurship by essence, by nature is having faith in something greater than yourself. 
right? Maybe it's, you, you know, you can call it the future you if you want to, but it's creating something out of nothing. It's not working a nine to five. It's not doing what everybody else is doing, which I'm not knocking per se, but that's all I knew my whole life. Like I said, at 18 years old, I was stepping out into the unknown, starting YouTube when it was not popular. It was not cool. There was no, you know, I didn't even know self-development would be a thing at the time. The journey it would take me on. So yes, believing in that helped me tremendously. Now let's kind of bring it more towards here. This is a very important video. So I said, I started, uh, I started getting into new age spirituality at around the age of 18. And I noticed at around the age 24, so about a year ago, that's when things began to really change. And now Elliot Hulse, uh, I'll link his channel up here. He is one of my greatest mentors, guys. He actually really helped me start YouTube back when I watched him before 18 at around 15. He says, and I don't know where he got this from, but he says a man's life changes every 12 years. Now, if we think about it, when you first turned 12 years old, what changed, right? Well, puberty, girls, you know, back in my day, they were called preteen dances. So like we would go to, you know, like parties and what we call them, like jams and stuff like that, where, you know, you'd go to like parties with guys and girls and you would kind of get into like kissing and, you know, things like that. It wasn't anything crazy, but like before 12 years old, that was non-existent. When you were like 10 years old, nine years old, you were just at home playing like video games, right? Or hanging out with your friends. So your whole life changed at around 12, 13 years old. And then again, at 24, right? Add another 12 years, 24 years old. That is manhood, right? So now we're maybe moving out of our home. You graduated school. You're getting a full-time job. Um, you know, you're beginning to pay bills. And for me at around 24, yeah, that's when a huge shift happened. And one of those shifts was the dying or the evolving from new age spirituality to Christianity. You know, 24 is when I really began to get into, and again, these are just labels, guys, but you could say conservatism, Christianity, powerlifting, a lot of these much more decisive masculine traits that are not for everybody. You know, it's, it's kind of like hot and cold, you know, it's not lukewarm. And the reason guys, I now follow Christ opposed to new age spirituality is because once I hit that turning point, right at around 24 years old, I realized that new age spirituality, although it helped kind of think of like a highway, right? It helped me get up to speed from 18 to 24, get the business off the road, you know, allow me to walk out in faith. If I was to sustain that or really what it is, is get to the next level kind of envision it like a highway, right? Getting from zero to 100 or in the US, zero to 60. And then maybe we're on the Autobahn. I think that's in like Germany, right? Somewhere in Europe where let's say we go from, I don't know, 60 to 120. Let's just say hypothetically. And I was realizing that new age spirituality was not giving me or granting me the strength to do so. And that's when God or Christ in particular reached out to me, touched my heart. And I know this sounds a little silly for some people or a little hard to grasp. Uh, I would actually argue uh, millions of people worldwide, and I know this, are, are coming to Christ now. They're getting dreams and revelations, and they can feel uh, the Christ presence. And it started to reach out about a year ago. And from that, as I explored it more and more, I've now been an avid Christ follower for about, I want to say six months to a year, like really picking up my cross. Oh my goodness, guys, my life is transformed. Now, I, I'll be brutally honest with you guys, and I'm going to make tons of separate videos on this because there's a lot to talk about. Uh, when you pick up your cross and follow Christ, your life gets a lot harder, a lot harder, initially at least. And I'm still going through that. I feel like I've been going through the, the book of Job right now, my season the past few months where it's been mad, <laughs> a massive test of faith. And this is, this is, uh, this is encouraged. God needs to really weed out the weeds and the tares. He really needs to see, are you going to keep his commandments, right? Like, you know, a lot of people, again, this is a side tangent, but they say they're Christians. But what does that mean? Because we know if we love God, we will keep his commandments, right? We know this because in Matthew 7, 21 to 23, it's one of my favorite Bible verses. It's also one of the most scary Bible verses. I'm going to paraphrase it, but it goes along the lines of people, individuals coming up to Christ, right? On judgment day, you could say, and they're saying, Lord, Lord, Jesus, haven't we done great works in your names? You know, I told people about you. I, uh, you know, I told people I was a Christian, right? I'm kind of paraphrasing it here. I, to I told people I worshiped you, right? You know, like I'm, I'm going to get into heaven, right? And Jesus replies to them, depart from me for I never knew you. It is only those who do the will of my father. Oh man, can you imagine Depart from me, for I never even knew you. Oh, that gives me goosebumps, man. It's those who do the will of my Father, right? Being like Christ is, is essentially being like God. Christ is God in human form, and so he was the perfect, sinless man. God is completely just, virtuous. There's no sin, guys. God is pure truth, light, 
order, objectivity, justice. It's like, it's like, just think of like the whitest piece of paper you could think of, not a speck of blood or dirt or anything. So again, this is a, this is a different uh, topic here, but if you guys as men, right, I'm, I'm, I'm conceptualizing theology in like a 10 minute video. If you guys as men, maybe you're in your mid twenties and you're feeling a call and, and you need this strength, you need this next level, you know, boyhood got you so far, maybe new age spirituality got you so far, but you need fruits and traits of the Holy Spirit, which is only something Christ can offer you. I'm talking fortitude, I'm talking discipline, discernment, overcoming sins, being more like Christ, going through spiritual warfare, putting on the full armor of God. This is directly intrinsic to Christianity or being like Christ, okay? I didn't get any of these traits because I, I, I spoke to you guys briefly. I said, life gets harder. It does right Ephesians 6 12 we do not fight against flesh and blood but against the dark rulers of this world right so Satan rules this world guys and you know, that's what we're fighting against but we have the full armor of God and God equips us with the right tools techniques we have the sword you guys can search up the entire full armor of God I don't know it off heart but it's like you have like the boots of peace and the sword of this and the chest plate of this and the helmet of righteousness it it's legit guys and when I began to follow Christ I gained all of these things so yes my life got harder but on the contrary think of like a video game y yes you're in the battlefield but like God also gives you stats, right? Think of like Skyrim. You have like endurance, stamina, you know, strength, vigor, vitality. All those go way up too, right? And I have never felt more grounded and based and just like I belong and I'm fighting this good fight. And that is why I say, brothers, all men need to follow God. Every single one of you, if you are a man, not a boy, a man and you are enduring, and you are creating a path, you are walking in God's calling, which is bigger than ourselves. That's the whole point of being religious or spiritual, really. It's not even religious. It's being like Christ, which is spiritual. That's the real spirituality. Being like Christ. We're on a battlefield. You're on a battlefield, and you're walking out naked right now, but you have these tools at your disposal, but you got to you got to profess Christ as Lord. You got to begin to move into this relationship. And I know for some of you guys who are atheist or secularist or maybe even Muslim, you might think that's too far-fetched. That's too silly. And I understand. I just, I, I really want you to, my, my encouragement to you is I was just like that a year ago, a year and a half ago. Just have an open childlike heart and just be willing, right? Throw away the pride for a second. That's why pride's the first of the seven deadly sins. And just be open like a kid almost on Christmas. Like you're just open and watch. I truly believe God and Christ, which are one and the same thing. They will reach out to you. I have no doubt as they are reaching out to millions worldwide. I have many Muslims DM me saying, David, I'm getting dreams of Christ now. I want to learn more. I have atheists. I have people kind of in between, guys. I, and this is a side tangent, but I do believe we're in the end times. And I don't know the verse off heart, but God basically says, in the end times, I will share my message with everybody, right? Number one, we're commanded to, this is another verse too, the gospel will be spread throughout all nations in the end times. So, so basically, God... God basically gives everyone a shot to hear it before judgment day comes. So he's like, hey, I told you. You you can't say I didn't tell you, right? And then two, he's going to start reaching out, meaning through dreams, revelations, people. Uh, it hit me about a year ago, dude. And I was just like you guys. And now I'm a devout Christ follower. Like I'm literally, <laughs> I'm no sexual marriage, nothing, no drinking, no alcohol. I'm trying to live just like Christ. I'm not perfect. We all fall short, but it's a very real thing. And with the Holy Spirit, you can do this, guys. So that is it. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have any questions, put them down below. Share it. You know, if you guys are on the podcast, give it a five-star rating, 10 friends guys just share the message you know again this yes it helps me out but uh this is the new movement that's growing guys it's abolishing the red pill it's bringing the god pill and hopefully these videos can help so if it did guys make sure to give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe i'll finish it here with the final plugs if you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level at anything of what I talked about in today's video, learning how to gain this Holy Spirit, following God, picking up your cross, or on a more practical level, improving things like your fitness, business, mindset, and relationships, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching, guys. Spots are open. I would love to work with you. And the step down is group coaching, guys, which is our workshop. Cheaper than one-on-one -on -one coaching, four one-hour calls with myself and a small group of men. All links are below, guys, and I'll finish it there. You guys can support. 
Court Edge coupon code Hanley. We just got that nice black Henley tee. Let's get it going, guys. About to edit this video, record some more. And yeah, I had a very poor sleep last night because, like I said, spiritual warfare is a very real thing. But we endure, we show up, you record the video, you have the Holy Spirit, and you God is guiding you the entire time. And that's what matters because He wins, good wins in the end, period. All right. Thank you, guys. Till next video. Much love. Peace.